Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Today we are going to carry on with our silage. Um, I've got a couple of things that I want to talk to you about uh, regarding the silage. I did go up with the John Deere. Um, well, I brought the John Deere back, I should say. It was already up there. And I brought back this front-mounted uh, Pottinger, I think it is. Um, it's a forage harvester that mounts on the front of the tractor which you can use for doing the maze um this is going to be great it's going to be a fantastic little machine but there's something i want to talk to you about but before that the question that i asked you a few episodes ago is uh, three episodes ago it's every three third episode remember uh, the question i asked you was what time scale would you like me to use do you want me to stay on one times do you want me to go up to five or up to 15 and you said you want me to go to five times speed and then when it gets to night time we will simply find forward so it does mean that we've got less time each day to complete our tasks so we'll just alter that a minute there we go we're now on five times speed and the question that I want to ask you for today is quite simply we are going to need soon I don't know how soon but we will soon ish need to do some muck spreading and I have got a couple of mods here but it's these two that I'm looking at these Marshall muck spreaders we have a barrel muck spreader the MS 105 or we have a flatbed muck spreader which is the Vez 2500 which one do you want me to get do you want me to get the barrel muck spreader or the flatbed muck spreader it's your vote it's your game right next thing I've got this one here okay and I spent 38,000 pounds on it with a two meter cutting width which is considerably better than the last one we have to admit I have already sold the last one um, but there's something that I want to show you here I have been offered a second-hand forage harvester that is quite a bit cheaper and it has a wider cutting width it's this one here it's an old import and this one has a, a couple of different headers that can attach to it it's only 23,000 just under 23,000 the I'm, I'm not even sure what they is I'm not even going to try and pronounce that it's a Russian name the Don 680 and it's uh, well obviously it's a Russian mod uh, as you can see but yes this one I think looks absolutely fantastic and then if we go to the headers and just scroll through these this is the three headers that you've got available this one looks like a whole crop header this one looks like a header for picking up um, a swathed product and this is a 3.5 meter working width on maize and it's 7,000 for the header and then 23,000 for this one. So we're looking at 30,000. I think in the long run, this is going to be the best option. So what I'm going to do, and I do apologize because I did tell you that we were going to use this one. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to take this back to the shop and I'm going to see what he will give me for it. I'm not going to be able to get the maximum price. I'm not going to be able to get what we paid for it, which is a little unfortunate. Um, no, oh, I don't want to lower the back weight. I want to lower the. I want to raise the front weight. There we go. And so yes, I do apologise, but we are not going to be using this Pottinger uh, MX. I've got to try and squeeze through here. It's, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pretend that I didn't just uh, side swipe my trailer with that. I think he's going to be taking a little bit of money off now. Um, when I try to take this back to him. I am going to see what I can get for it though. I would like to be able to sell this and um, then I'm going to get that self-propelled one with the extra header. Um, it does mean that we'll be able to use it again for other tasks in the future and it's quite cheap. I think it is going to be the perfect addition to our farm. So yeah, it's a waste of money. I know I shouldn't have bought this. I shouldn't have rushed in and bought this, but it was an impulse purchase on my iPad which yeah it's dangerous giving a farmer an iPad and this is why anyway I'm getting up to the shop right we'll just put that one there and then we'll sell it and then we'll see about buying this new one let me just skip out here a second there we go Didn't open the door. Uh, We've also got that one full of straw over there, so we might take that back and sell it in a minute. Let's see, what are we going to give us? 22,800. Ooh, it's 38,000 we paid for this. 
So 23 on 30, we've lost 15 grand, most of which was because I hit the trailer on the way up. Um, yeah, I got no one to blame but myself, really, have I? Okay, let's go into the shop and I can't actually buy the whole thing, can I? Let's just get the first one. Uh, harvesters, here we go, scroll to the end, here it is. Right, um, the Don 680, I, I really have no idea how to pronounce that in English. If anybody does know what this is, how you would pronounce this in English, please let me know in the comment section down below, I would love to know. Okay, um, come out of here, there we go, there is our new purchase, the Don 680. <laughs> Oh, this thing looks brilliant. The uh, yeah, that's in Russian, and the Russian Russian letters are pronounced differently than English letters, even if they look similar. Some of them are pronounced very differently. I know that much. So I'm not I'm not going to try and butcher it. So if there are any Russians watching, I'm sorry. I am not going to try to butcher your language for you. If you could please tell me how to pronounce this, that would be fantastic. Right, we'll have a better look at that in a minute. I'm going to get the. Let's just swap the front weight around a minute. Um, if I lower that one down, I'll pick it up with the front again. There we go. Now, if we spin round, and then we'll get that forest trailer, we'll take that down and we'll tip that into our new straw power plant. It'll be a fantastic opportunity to test out the straw power plant, and we can see how much we'll get for one trailer load of straw. So let's just load that one up. There we go. And let's go into cab, that's better. And I'll come over here, get this one, and I'll get this one back down to the yard. It's quite a lot of traffic, all things considered. I mean, it's getting later in the evening. You'd have thought that the traffic would actually ease up a little bit now. Uh, let's just go into here and skip out a second. Right, that's better. Open the door. Open the gate. Right, straw power plant is over there, working away quite nicely. And I'll shut that door again, there we go. Right, I'm going to have to clean this tractor, I think, as well. I will do that in a minute. It's starting to get a bit dirty, harder to see out the windows. Right, straw power plant, look at that. Right. I am going to come out of cab for this one because I want to see the, the whole tipping thing. I'd like to be able to see the whole thing. So let's back up a little bit. There we go. Now, we have one full trailer, one full forage wagon there, and tip. I'll tell you what, we're not doing too bad from this. That's not a bad amount of money going in there. Um, are we going to make enough to be able to buy that head or am I going to have to take another £5,000 loan? I think, looking at it, I think I'm going to have to take another bit of loan out. I've got some bales in the shed. I could always sell a few of those. Right, we had 2,896. We had just under £3,000 from that, which isn't too bad, but it's not quite enough. If we just take a quick look at the shop. Let's have a look on our iPad again. And headers. There we go. Right, this is the one we want, and this is actually just under 7,000, and we've got just under 6,000. We need 1,000 more. The bales, I'd need three bales. Now, I'm going to take out just a tiny bit of extra loan, just another 5,000. I know that we are getting quite high on the loan now. We've got 150,000 on the loan, but I think we're going to be okay with that. So there's the 5,000. Now I will buy that header, and then we can go up and get it right so that has been bought and we have four thousand pounds left so i will go and park this one up a minute and then i will go and get up to the shop and we will see about getting our new forager i'm really excited about this oh there she is and we've got the header on the ground here there's a three and a half meter working width i think this is definitely going to be worth it um we've got you climb in a minute and you can yeah you, I don't know what the steering mode is I'm not sure what that is I did actually run a little test on this previously make sure it didn't crash the game or anything and it started up but you can open and close the door but it says something about steering and I've no idea what that does because I couldn't see any 
change in what it was doing but you can open and close the door so we'll just keep that closed and let's go in cab and have a quick look quite basic controls this is an old machine and back up a little bit <laughs> oh he sounds he sounds ancient he does sound old and clangy and noisy but it's ours we have got our very own forager this is fantastic let me just uh rid of that a second let me just come out of cab a minute let's have a look oh this is beautiful this is absolutely sensational i know it is i know that it's old and it looks worn out and it doesn't look very comfortable but you've got to remember this is our forager okay this is our very own we're not hiring it we're not getting contractors in to do it this is ours and we can buy some more headers there's two other headers that we can buy for this as well so we can do whole cropping and uh, that will also do grass as well I think and then you've got the um, one that picks up the swath which I think will pick I think that's for straw although I'm not entirely certain so that's something that we'll have to have a look at but anyway I'm getting this down to the field where I've already gone I've taken the John Deere down there already trailers there waiting and we will test this bad boy out. Get in and round the corner. I am actually going to have to drive on the crop a little bit so that I can hitch in this trailer. And I'll tow my own trailer up and down the side a little bit. Right, we're going to have to come out of the cab just to see this bit. There we go. Let's back up. Perfect, there we go. Right. Now we want to put uh go to this one and we want to go pipe out like that. And then I need to change to the front so I can lower the header. There we go. And turn the machine on. Excellent, right. Let's go in cab and we'll start. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Our very own forager. Now, I'm actually going to just drive around the edge and tidy up the mess that we left behind with that really small one. Um, just because it's going to bug me if I don't. But this is fantastic. Look at it. We're picking up our own crop with our own forager. Let's just take a look at the back. Can't see very well. Right, we'll, we'll come out of cab in a minute. Let's just uh, drive up the hill. The mirrors, I've noticed, as I was driving back, the mirrors don't work brilliantly. They tend to have one dark and one lit. You don't have both of them what, both of them working at the same time for some reason. Not quite sure what's going on with that, but that's just... Oh, okay, now they're both working. I was going to say, it's just a minor detail, and I'm not too concerned about that. It may be a slight clash with some other mods. I have actually installed the Workers Consume seeds mod as well so we will see that in action at a later date it's not going to affect us today probably not tomorrow either because i think i'll end up doing a bit more foraging uh how are we doing right it's filling up a lot for, I'm, i know that i'm only taking half a swath at the moment we just go in and take a little bit more there we go it's filling up a lot faster now and i'm going to do a couple round i think i'll probably do a couple times around the outside and then we'll start doing land work and I'll just go alongside it with the tractor. I think it'll be the best way to do it. And then we can let the hired help operate the forager and we'll drive our tractor up and down beside it. So if I swing out here, it'll gather up the stray bits that we've got. There's a few more stray bits down there, but overall it's fairly tidy down here. Along the bottom, it was quite messy. I'm gonna go round a couple times now and just fill this trailer up. just about to complete my second turn around the field most of the ooh, there we go hang on 21,000 there we go so that is once around the uh, once around the field just picking up the the stray bits and pieces everywhere and then once around the field let me just turn that one off there we go and then once around the field again uh, taking a full width and we've got our trailer full bleating at me there we go i will 
drop off the trailer here, there, and I'll just pull forward a little bit so that the John Deere can come in and collect the trailer. So I'm going to climb out a second. He can stay running a minute. I'll run and get this tra uh, John Deere tractor. You can still hear it clanking away in the background. Ooh, there we go. Right, start this one up. And I'm going to take this trailer back and we'll tip it and then we'll come back and get another load. Okay, I've been and tipped that one. I'm going to let's just shut the door there. I'm going to oops, hitch back in again, and we're going to do one more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this one slice along the bottom, and then I'm going to take a couple slices up each side so that I've got room to turn on the headland. Let's turn this one on a second. There we go. Lower it down. There's some good animations on the actual header. You can see the. The PTO shafts on it all spinning round. <laughs> it's really good. I really do like this mod. This is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do a, another slice along the bottom here. And then we'll do a couple slices up each end. And hopefully that will give us enough room so that we can turn on the headland. This is going to be my last load today because it's getting dark. And I don't really want to do this through the night. So it's better, I think, if we come back at it refreshed tomorrow after a good night's sleep. Um, just gather up this bit and now we can uh, swing in and start heading up here there we go perfect uh, yeah so we'll come back at this nice and refreshed and be able to finish this whole field I'm hoping we'll be able to go back and forth quite a bit tomorrow I'm not going to be making any mistakes having any accidents because we're tired there's nothing worse than trying to do this sort of job when you're really tired so I prefer to do it during daylight when we're not tired and we can see what we're doing. And just coming up here, I've got 6,000 now. Uh, am I going to be able to spin round here? I don't know if I've got enough room, really. Uh, I'm riding into the hedge a little bit there. Doesn't like that. Right. Let me... Am I going to have to go around this way? It doesn't like turning too sharp with that trailer on the back. It's, it's, oh, I'm going right to the hedge here. This is terrible. Oh, what are you doing? You're going to damage a header like this. Come on, Frith, you're better than that. It doesn't like swinging very sharp with that trailer on. Uh, obviously, when we're going again, it's not going to have the trailer on the back. I'm just going to have to go round. I'm just going to go round in a circle. Let's pick the header up. And let me know. All right, I'll just switch it off. We'll run down to the end here, and we'll take the slice down the end. It is starting to get quite dark now. It's 20 to 9. By the time we get this load, uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be bedtime. So I'm going to hurry up and get this done, I think. Now then, there we go. Start up again. Now I can swing in. There we go. And I'll just have to do this again. I'll do. I'll uh, run along the bottom, and then cut my way up the other side. If I do that a couple of times, we should have enough room on each headland to be able to turn it round. Let's just pop out of cab and see how we get we're doing. That should be enough room, I think. So I can manoeuvre around with the tractors as well, and I'll at least get another slice on the other the other end. And what I'm probably going to do, actually, is I'm going to take a cut up through the middle. And then when I've cut through the middle, I'll... Let's just turn that off a sec so we can run down here a bit faster. Uh, cut out to one side, and then we can work our way up the field for the last bit. I really do like this machine, though. This is absolutely awesome. It's not every day that a farmer can afford his own forager. And yes, I realise it's probably not quite as grand as some people would uh, like to have but I think that I think we're doing all right you know this thing is working well it hasn't broken down on us we haven't had any issues it's got a good working width of three and a half meters that's nearly double what that Pottinger one was because that was only a two meter um, it's considerably faster than the the last one I just had my alarm going off to say that we have actually been going long enough so I'm going to do another couple of slices on the ends of the field 
fill this trailer up so that we can tip it before we go to bed. Just hitch this trailer up so we can take it back to the yard and that'll be it for the night so we can finish this field off tomorrow and I realize that that is three days that we've been working on it but we have been having to go up and down to do some little purchases and a few extra bits and pieces as well so it's sort of broken it up a little bit and uh, we will finish up tomorrow that will be the last of this field of silage and then we have other tasks that we need to accomplish let's just turn off the indicators there right I'll take this back to the yard and then we can tip it I genuinely despise this trailer about the only way that I can do this efficiently is to swing in round like this and I hate it look at that that is awful so we'll tip it here I really do want to get a new trailer I can't really afford it at the moment we have had some extravagant purchases lately and then we did lose some money on that pottinger because I rammed the trailer with it uh, which probably wasn't the best thing to do but anyway uh, let's just whiz this one back around to the yard around here there we go and remember today's question is do you want me to get the barrel muck spreader or the flatbed muck spreader uh, the barrel muck spreader is a traditional one for a small farm when the flatbed one um, I mean I suppose you tend to see more of those around these days but I've always when I was growing up we always used the smaller machines so turn that one off turn those off and let's just uh, climb out there we go right that is it for the day so just quickly show you which ones I mean again just in case you have forgotten the muck spreaders there we go do you want me to get this barrel muck spreader or the flatbed muck spreader uh, it's your vote it's your game but thank you very much for watching folks if you enjoyed it then oops, I didn't actually mean to do that if you enjoyed it please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later